Hey guys, what's up? Maxwell Alexander here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. Uh, so today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little boy makeup look for you. Um, a little bit more of a masculine look today because I am going to see my favorite aunt in the entire world today. My Auntie Cindy. And she is just the light of my life. I love her so, so, so very much. Now, obviously, you can tell that I've already done my base, I've done my eyebrows, and I only did that so that we could save time. You guys have seen me put on my base and seen me put on my eyebrows a million times over. So I just wanted to jump right into doing some eyeshadow contour and uh, that sort of thing. So, um, for today's look, I wanted to keep it a little bit more on the natural side, so we're going in with the Smashbox Ablaze palette. This palette is absolutely fantastic. You guys have seen me use it before. The colors in this are absolutely in freaking credible. This one right here, this kind of like reddish color, this is one of my all time favorite colors to use. Uh, but first we have to lay down a base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this all over shadow brush here and we're going to dive into this uh, kind of skin like color right here and we're just going to put that all over my eye just so that we have kind of a base for the rest of the shadow to go on to and it also just helps blend that color quite a bit better the reason why I go with something more skin tone is because if I went with a white, I feel like the colors would be too intense. And I want to keep this more natural looking rather than what I normally do, which is like big, bold, bright looks. Um, because I am going to be seeing family today. I didn't want to do anything too extreme. I don't want to scare off, you know some of my relatives and stuff like that, you know, so yes. And actually, believe it or not, uh, just a quick little story here for you guys, is my Auntie Cindy isn't actually blood related to me, she's my mom's best friend, and they've been friends for like over 10 years or something like that, which is so crazy to me. Uh, or no, they've been friends for even longer than that, because Jesus, I'm 27, so over 27 years they have been friends. They've been friends since the day I was born. Friendship goals? I think so. Alright, so next we're going to go in with my transition shade. So I think today for a transition shade, I'm going to go in with kind of this orangey color, because I'm also going to go in with this red as well, just to put in the crease and give me a little bit of drama, but not too much. And then for the actual um, eyeshadow itself. I think we might go into this end one here just to give it that nice pop and really open up my eyes. So let's get started with my transition color. Now we just dip in lightly so that the brush is fully coated. You can see it there. We've got all that pigment right on the brush and we're just going to tap some of it off because we don't want any fallout obviously. So that is as you guys should know by now, it's just going right into my crease. And this comes off a little bit more brown when it goes on. It doesn't come off very orange, which is kind of strange, but it still looks really pretty. And we're just going to blend those edges out, obviously. And actually, what I'm going to do is it's a neat little trick that I like to use is I like to take a piece of paper towel and after I lay down um, the actual pigment I just like to take my brush and I like to wipe off any excess and then go back in with and then just go in with that same brush just to blend out our edges so that we don't have any of that harsh lines any of those harsh lines Jesus I can't freaking talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So we're just going to blend that 
right out just like so all right so now going back in with uh that same smashbox palette instead of using this red color actually no you know what we are going to go in with a little bit of this red color because I like the way it looks over top of this kind of brownish, burnt orange kind of shade. And just again, tap off any of the excess. And we're just going to pop that right into the crease. Now this is what I love about this little fluffy brush is that you can use this for your transition and you can use it for the crease because you're mixing those two colors together anyways. So there's no point in dirtying another brush. I'm just going to pop that in there. And then, like I said before, we're just going to take that piece of paper towel here and we're just going to rub off some of that excess and then just go back in with that brush and finesse that color. Blend out the edge so that we have a nice blended look here today. I apologize if I seem like I'm in a bit of a rush. I actually need to go or I actually need to leave here in about an hour and a half or so so I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible but I'm also trying to you know you get it you get it mm -hmm. alright so now that we have that red shade in there as well and that looks all beautifully blended now I am going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and we are going to dive in to this color right here, this kind of peachy color. And this is going to go all over our lid, I think, today. Just to give us that pop. Ooh, I did not need that much pigment on there. Holy cow, that like really dug in. I'm not even kidding. I can't even show you because if I move my palette, all the pigment is going to fall everywhere. This brush picks up a lot of pigment. Holy cow. And you know what, I want to intensify that color a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of my setting spray. We're just going to give this a quick spritz. And then we're going to go back in to there. Tap off any excess. And just slide that right over top. Oh my god, so much better. Really gives a really beautiful, beautiful shine. Do you see that? Woo! Girl. Looking good, girl. Looking good. And yeah. So there we go. So now what I'm going to do is to finish off this eye, what I think I want to do is I want to go in with, don't ever blow on your palettes, by the way. This is my palette. I use this one personally. I have another one that I use for clients. Don't ever blow on your palettes. I used to get in shit for that when I worked at Shopping Strickland. <laughs> so for the under eye today, I think I really want to spruce that up just a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in with this cute little gold color here. And we're just going to slide that right underneath our waterline. And then taking, a nut, taking that same... Uh, all over shadow brush that we used before uh, we're just going to take this and we're going to buff out that color just to make it look a little bit more seamless but still keep that color there you don't want to go right over it you just want to be touching the edge of that color right there there we go Alrighty. So now that we have all of the shadows down, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going in with my always on gel liner. I obviously need to buy a new one because look at how freaking tiny this is. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's about time that I go and get another one. So I actually just want to sharpen this real quick because I haven't yet. There we go. So we're going to use the Always On Gel Liner, and this is just going to go right into our waterline. By the way, if you guys are wondering what that sound is in the background, that's my furnace. It's loud as hell. It needs to be cleaned out at some point. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are wondering what that sound is in the background, that's my furnace. Because I live in a basement suite, and unfortunately, it is what it is. 
All right, so now that that's finished, now we're going in with the Clarins, uh, su uh, yes, the Clarins Mascara Super Volume Intense Black Mascara. This is just a little sample size that I got in a mascara sample set. You can get them at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't exactly remember how much they are, but the cool thing about these is that you get a ton of different mascaras for a low price. And then what you do is it comes with a actual certificate in the box so that you can go to Shoppers and you can pick out a full size of the one that you like best, which is awesome. So basically what you're doing is you're getting a crap ton of mascara for one price. Seriously, best way to save money. Same with their perfumes as well. They also have a bunch of perfume samplers. You go in, I think it's about $80 for the box, but then it comes, again, with a certificate so that you can get a full size of whichever one that you like. So again, a great way to save money. And on top of that, some of the uh, perfumes and some of the mascaras are actually even more expensive than the box itself. So that's why it makes such a great deal. Not only that, but also, then you get a ton of perfume in little sample bottles, which is like super awesome and it's great for traveling. All right, so now that this eye is finished, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I will be right back so that we can finish with our contour and our highlight. And then, of course, last but not least, our lips. Okay, so now that our eyes are all finished and looking fly, now it is time to do some contour and highlight. We're not going to do any blush today though, um, because it's already really, really cold outside and God knows my cheeks are gonna get rosy already. So I'm going to try and stay away from any sort of blush today, but we are going to do some contouring to chisel out these cheekbones, because, you know, these cheeks have got to be snatched, girl. So, of course, what are we going in with? The Smashbox Contour and Highlight Palette. Obviously, it is my favorite, and I use it in every single video. I just haven't had the time to go out and find new makeup, or have the money, really, to purchase any new makeup, because Christmas was just, re or was just happened, now we're going into New Year's, so yeah, it's just been a whirlwind of craziness. So, we're going in with this guy right here, and we are going to go in with this nice cool toned contour color, and we're just going to chisel out some cheekbones. And then using a bronzing brush, we are going to bronze up the temples and we're going to bronze up the skin down here a little bit. I'm also going to, before I do that, I am going to try and blend out some of this contour so that it's not so intense. We're just taking this brush and we're just running it right over trying to get rid of any harsh lines. We want this hollowness to look very natural on our skin, obviously. So let's just do a little bit of that. Now we're going to take that same brush that we just used, and we are going to dive into the bronzing shade in this palette. And we are going to bronze up the forehead and the temples a little bit. Just to bring some color back to the face, you know? Already, that is looking so much nicer. And really make sure that you're blending into your hairline to make it look very, very natural. Because otherwise, you'll just have this white right around that line right there. Trust me, you don't want that. Especially not for pictures. Because then it makes you look like you're wearing a mask instead of, you know, a natural glow. 
I mean, we are wearing a mask, like, let's be real here, but... <sighs> And now, just wiping off any of the excess bronzer on there, I'm just going to blend that because it does look a little much there. There we go. Now going back in with that same bronzer shade, we're going to bronze up these cheeks just a touch. Not too much because it is winter. But we do still want to have a nice, healthy-looking glow to the skin. Nice little bronze, bronzy moment. Like I said, not too much. You need very, very little of the product. Just enough to give you a little bit of color back into your cheeks here. Beautiful, darling. Beautiful. You see? And it's just going underneath where the top of our cheekbone is. Because we're going to be highlighting that right now. So, for highlighting today, now I don't, uh, sometimes I like to use a fan brush, sometimes I don't. It all depends. Um, today I don't think I'm going to because I think I want my highlight to be a little bit more intense, um, but not too intense. So to start off with, we are going in with the Stila Heavenly Hue, Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And we are using, now I don't know, I think this is supposed to be a contouring brush. But I like to use this brush for uh, doing highlight. And the reason why is because it just is so much more precise on where you want to put your highlight. So that's what I like about it. I find a fan brush, it just doesn't do as much justice as this brush does. And we're just going to pull it right down. And just brush that right on the top of the cheekbone. Now the reason why I go in with the Heavensly Hue um, is because what I like to do is I also like to layer a little bit over top of this because this highlighter here is more of like a putty. Um, like if you were to stick your finger in it like so. It leaves a, it leaves a print, right? So uh, what I like to do is I like to use this because it has a little bit of it like a sticky texture. It's almost like a creamy cream. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But when I put a powder highlight over top of this, it just intensifies it that much more, which is what I absolutely love. Whereas if you were just to put a powder highlighter on the skin... Uh, just as is, I feel like it wouldn't come across the same way. So I like to do this because it intensifies it. And then we're also going to take a little bit of this down the center of the nose. And we're also going to put a little bit on our Cupid's bow. Just like so, and a little bit just above the brow bone, just to make my forehead look a little bit smaller, because we all know I got a big ass forehead right here, and it ain't pretty. So, we want to make that a little bit smaller, because, you know, I just, not only that, but also when the light hits it, it just gives it that nice little bit of, ah. Uh, So there we go. So now that that's done, now we are going in with the NYX Strobe of Genius Palette! Yes! Now, I have had this palette forever. It still 
works absolutely incredible. I I absolutely am in love with this palette for twenty. I think it's uh, twenty five ninety nine if I'm not mistaken at Shoppers Drug Mart. But it comes with four, five, six, seven different highlight shades for twenty five dollars. That is a hell of a deal. Okay, so if you're looking to save money, this is the highlight palette for you. Not to mention the highlighters in this are super intense let me show you so we are going to go in with this cute little pink shade right here we're just gonna take that same brush swirl it around in this and go right over top okay you ready for this Woo! Woo, bitch yes queen mm-hmm look at that highlight hello Glowing for the gods. Glowing for my Auntie Cindy. I can't wait for Auntie Cindy to see this look. She's going to die. Well, let's hope she doesn't die, because I'd like to keep her in my family for a little bit longer. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes, queen. Oof. Well, so much for doing a natural makeup look. I thought I was going to keep it natural, but apparently I'm not. So whatever. And then, like I said, just hitting where we put that highlight above the brow bone as well. Just dabbing that in place. There we go. Oh, yeah, and we also, of course, can't forget the cupid smile. Alrighty. So, now that we have shape to our face, we've got glow, we've got eyes, we've got brows, we're looking snatched for the gods, darling. Ugh. Oh. So dramatic. Um, now we are going to go in with the lips. So as you guys know, I talked about this in one of my other videos a long time ago. Um, it is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. That was a little intense for even me. <laughs> But this is in the shade Lava, number 15 in the shade Lava, and it is just a beautiful, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's just like the perfect nude, and it goes so well with my skin tone, and because we want to keep this look toned down, I didn't want to do a huge intense lip. I just wanted to keep it very, very on the natural side, uh, even though our eyes and our highlight are everything but natural. We are extraterrestrial all the way from the clan, from the planet, from the climate. That was like climate and planet put into one. Did I just create a new word? Maybe. But we are looking at, anyway. <laughs> But even though our makeup and our glow is like from Planet Glamatron, hello, I'm an alien. Uh, we are going to go in with a nice nude lip just to tone this all down a little bit. Alright, and now using a little bit of setting spray, we are going to set this face now that all the makeup is done. And there you have it, you guys. Oh, wait. All right. Actually, zoom out a little bit more here. There we go. So there you have it, you guys. This is today's makeup look. 
to go and see my Auntie Cindy. A beautiful, beautiful kind of rose gold shadow with a little bit of red to kind of tone it out. Some gold underneath the eyes. This beautiful nude lip and a gorgeous highlight. This is a look that anybody can do. You can go to the grocery store, you can hang out with your friends, you can go and meet the parents. You know, you could do just about anything in this look, really. I mean, it's super easy. It's very, very uh, toned down from what I normally do. Um, uh, normally with the eyes, they're a lot more intense. Uh, but if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Until I see you guys next time, as always, peace, love, and hugs. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah!